People do tend to talk about the character on and off the pitch. Can you tell us what character means to you? How important is it to have a, the character of the team and the individuals? Yeah, I think um, the character of the team is, for me, is like the identity of the team. You know, the way they play, um, everyone buying into that, the culture of the team. I think individually it's massively important to have character. Um, it's mental toughness for me. It's be, being able to step up. Um, in the hard moments in games and you know pull a big moment out um, to help your team or or you know doing your job um, you know when when uh, it's really tough in games having that character to step up and, and really important to have lots of different characters as well within the team isn't it yeah. I mean the, the amount of times you you play in sides or or even a coach tries to get a similar characters within the team to and it becomes a bit robotic and a bit stayed or isn't necessarily the same enjoyment of there may be clashes in character, but actually in sport and in rugby, they bounce off each other and it creates a synergy to, to be better as well. You have played from Marlow Minis right up to the Lions and World Cup finals. What values remain true at both, at both of those levels? It doesn't matter what you do on the rugby field, you're doing it for the people around you. Even if you're showing a little bit of individual brilliance, you still need the players around you to create that environment for you to show off your little bit of brilliance and I've, all, I've always loved that about playing rugby um, and you know putting your stamp on the game but never never losing sight that whether it's you know the forwards have created the gaps for you know me to have a little snipe or the backs have done a great move and you come on a supporting line and you might be scoring under the post and getting all the glory but somewhere I, and yeah, that, that absolutely has not changed from when I was playing for Marlow against... So it's like being one small part in a, in a whole team and everyone driving to that goal of winning, but absolutely. everyone playing their part. Yeah, definitely. And, and people, you were playing with people that I didn't necessarily, I weren't best mates with. Yeah. But when you got on the rugby field, it was yeah. this fuck, unity yeah. that would just, or everyone would like gather in. And that, honestly, it was, that was, I'm sure you were at Salisbury, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Maybe this. We used to play against Salisbury. Richard Hill was at Salisbury, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we used to play against yeah. Salisbury. We used to kick our butts. <laughs> what is your favourite memory from your playing days that still gives you a sense of pride and spirit? Oh, I mean, there are so yeah. many of those, aren't there? I mean, I still have fabulous memories from winning the Bucks County Cup. For, for Marlow with the under 13s. Um, you know, it's easy to mention winning the premiership with, with Wasps in 05, you know, playing for your country, going on Lions tours, but they're all, they, they all have the same ingredients. No matter which decade goes by, you've got to have those same ingredients to deliver that, that brilliance, that experience that makes rugby so much more special than a lot of other sports. So yeah, it, w whether it's being world champions, winning Lions tours, premierships, they all hold a, a, an absolute part of my, my memory, my rugby memory and life that I will be indebted to the sport for, for yeah, forever, absolutely. Yeah.